Ever wondered what happens when your own immune system turns against your liver? This is the reality for those dealing with autoimmune hepatitis. Now you might ask what is autoimmune hepatitis? Well, it's a chronic inflammatory liver disease. And here's the kicker. It's not caused by a virus or bacteria, but by your own immune system. It mistakenly identifies the cells of your liver as foreign invaders and launches an attack causing inflammation, swelling and damage. The exact cause of why this happens remains a mystery, which is part of what makes this disease so fascinating and complex. It's also worth noting that autoimmune hepatitis tends to be more common in individuals who have other autoimmune conditions, suggesting a connection. The mystery around its cause makes autoimmune hepatitis a complex disease to understand, but we do know how to identify it. So, our country, how does one find out if they have autoimmune hepatitis? Well, the process of diagnosis involves several steps, each one crucial in its own way. The first step is usually an assessment of your health history. Doctors will want to know if you've had any symptoms that could suggest liver disease. They might also ask about your family's health history, specifically about any instances of autoimmune diseases. Next comes the physical exam. Your doctor will be looking for signs of liver damage, such as jaundice, which is a yellowing of the skin and eyes, or an enlarged liver. Blood tests are another critical diagnostic tool helping doctors identify the presence of the disease. These tests can reveal abnormal liver function and the presence of certain antibodies that are often found in people with autoimmune hepatitis. Lastly, imaging tests like an ultrasound or a CT scan may be used. These can provide a detailed view of your liver and help identify any signs of damage or swelling. Sometimes a liver biopsy may be included in the diagnostic process. This involves taking a small sample of liver tissue for examination under a microscope. Though the diagnosis process can be daunting, it's a crucial step towards managing the condition. What signs should one look for if they suspect autoimmune hepatitis? It's a question that merits attention. Autoimmune hepatitis is a stealthy condition, often showing no clear signs in its early stages. However, as the disease progresses, several symptoms may begin to surface. These can include persistent fatigue way that goes beyond the usual, tiredness after a long day, discomfort or pain in the abdomen, and jaundice, a condition that causes a yellowing of the skin and is due to elevated levels of bilirubin in the blood. It's important to keep in mind that these symptoms aren't exclusive to autoimmune hepatitis. They could be indicative of other conditions as well, so it's crucial not to jump to conclusions. Instead, use these signs as a prompt to seek medical advice. Regular checkups are key, as they allow for early detection and diagnosis even when symptoms are scarce or non-existent. Remember, the sooner autoimmune hepatitis is identified, the wider the range of treatment options available and the better the potential outcomes. Identifying these symptoms early can pave the way for more effective treatment options. Let's delve into some statistics about autoimmune hepatitis. This disease is a fascinating puzzle in the world of epidemiology. While the exact incidence rate is still under investigation, studies suggest that it's not uncommon, with an estimated 10 to 20 cases per 100,000 individuals annually. Interestingly, there's a pronounced gender disparity in autoimmune hepatitis. Women are significantly more likely to develop the disease than men, with the male to female ratio 
being roughly 1 to 4. This suggests that hormonal or genetic factors may be at play, but further research is needed to fully understand this phenomenon. Now, let's talk about survival. It's important to remember that while autoimmune hepatitis is a chronic condition, it's not a death sentence. With proper treatment and management, many individuals with the disease can lead normal, productive lives. Regular healthcare provider visits, medication adherence, and lifestyle adjustments can significantly improve outcomes. While autoimmune hepatitis is a serious condition, survival and quality of life can be significantly improved with the right care. To wrap up, let's summarize what we've learned about autoimmune hepatitis. We've discovered it's a chronic inflammatory liver disease caused when the immune system mistakenly attacks liver cells. Diagnosis involves a combination of health history, physical exam, blood tests and imaging. Key symptoms can include fatigue, abdominal pain and Jake and Dice, but they do vary. Importantly, we've discussed the epidemiology, incidence rate and gender ratio, helping us understand the disease's prevalence and impact. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about autoimmune hepatitis, the better equipped you are to manage it.